I sometimes feel so protected and so held and in grace and indeed in faith. Like, like oh, I'm living by a high frequency. I felt it today in Milwaukee of all places. I just tumbled into the day. I got up early. I went to like a 12 step meeting. I didn't have no, uh, like I knew I had to get to this place. I didn't know where it was. I ended up getting a lift from a couple of soldiers, like drove me to the place. Then someone that I met at the 12 step meeting drove me somewhere else. I was chatting to people all over the place and I was in complete faith. And I'll tell you this thing, even though it's quite intimate and I'm slightly embarrassed about it is I felt like I was in God's presence and I felt at ease having had this beautiful conversation with this uh, the chief editor at the um, Atlanta Voice a black American newspaper for the people of Atlanta me and this dude just had fun and we're playing just met each other spontaneously and we're going so this is Milwaukee this is the center of the universe and we're sort of playing this sort of weird game we just met each other like when kids might meet each other and play and I felt sort of like a kind of a easy rejoicing then I started to think during it my, this is good this this is we're having a really deep because it went from the play to having a conversation about racial dynamics the Republican movement and all sorts of stuff, Trump, etc. in America. And I was like, oh, I should be filming this. That was the first sign of me trying to grab or take something. I should be filming this. This would make good content. People would, like all of those old messages of acquisition, acquiring personal power, sin, pleasure sort of away from God. But I was aware enough to not act on those impulses. And I thought, no, just be in the moment with this man. You don't need to get anything, Russell. You are forgiven. You are redeemed. There is nothing to get. You're just here now to convey gratitude and to convey service. And I, I won that round. Then, though, I got back to the um, compound. You know, Milwaukee's all segregated in terms of high security because of the Republican convention and because of recent events around Donald Trump, the assassination attempt. So there's high, high security. There's be high security anyway. But you reach the, bo the border of this sort of inner compound and you have to get out of the vehicle where I was being taken by a man, just by God's grace, somebody who was just driving me who I didn't know 10 minutes earlier. Um, and when I came back, I was just sort of walking along and I was thinking and I was thinking about how I was helped by God. And we were working on some content and we were coming up for the day's video title. And people were sort of saying like, oh, J.D. Vance is the VP pick for Trump. And, I, and we were, people were sort of pick, you know, you know, it's like you work in social media, different titles and stuff like that. And I sent like a title option and I was very, very relaxed. And while I was typing the title option, I heard, hey, Russell. And I was like, yeah, hey. And, I, and then I look up and I notice that there's a security detail, a couple of cars, and then there's a bunch of Secret Service. And there, like, holding his kid, is J.D. Vance. Hey, Russell! <laughs> Calls me over, come over, Russell! And I go over to him. And I'm like, hey, man! And I just sort of start chatting to him. And then, like, you know, and I'm thinking, I like, get a photograph, like a little selfie. And then the same thing happens in my mind. Oh, J.D. Vance, he's the man of the moment. Oh, I should do an interview with him. I should be doing an interview. I could get something. And, and, I, and he goes, oh, you've, you know, you've come to Christ lately, huh? And I'm like, yeah, I've come to Christ. And I show him my rosary, which, upon which you also remarked, George. And, um, and then I went, oh, can I have a, like a selfie? And I saw him change. I saw his face change because I went to take from him. I went to take from him. Now, I'm not making no comment on J.D. Vance, what kind of character he is, where he stands You're in the whole... You're absorbing the room. You're yeah, learning. I, I tried to took, take from him. I yeah. tried to take from him, and I noticed it in myself. And I noticed that it, it caused a jarring. It caused a jarring mm. in the connection. And I thought, this is a lesson for me to learn. Remain in surrender. Remain in faith. And whenever you notice yourself trying to take something from somebody, stop it. There is nothing to get. Now, I've got to be forgiving to myself, of course, because... I'm a flawed person and I'm fallible. And to, in, to deny that would be another form of sin, elder brother sin in prodigal son dynamics, no? And I don't just go from younger son dynamics to older son dynamics. I've got to get out of being one of the prodigal son or the elder son. I've got to be, no, I've got to be the son only to him.